What is up, y'all? It is your boy Wee Peeler in the house, and welcome back to some more Clash of Clans with my Town Hall Level 9. Just finished one of the most epic wars we've been a part of, and I'm here to show you guys the highlights. What a freaking war. We were going back and forth in the descriptions. They were calling us Nazis and gays, and holy crap, it was nuts, man. It was straight nuts, but we kicked their ass. We blasted them in the descriptions, and it was just a completely fantastic experience. So, check out the base. We are working our way to Town Hall 10, man. It is un freaking believable i went on some crazy raids let's see we're at 295 million gold rated almost 296 last time i did a video i think i was like 285 so 10 mil in a few days and i got no builders free and now i've got stuff to upgrade like walls and i've got enough stuff to do it and no builders free so as you can see we have an air defense going up right here my last air defense going up over here and then basically we got an expo in six days I did my, uh, I think I got an archer tower, both archer towers going up, five days and four days, uh, so that's going to be it, man, expo, two ADs, two air our archer towers, and that's going to be it for defenses. Uh, I do have my Valks going to be done in five days, uh, five, almost six days. Um, I do have, let's see, I got, um, I got balloons to do, and I've got healers, but I'm not going to do either one of those, man. I'm not a big loon fan, and I'll show you guys, actually going to show you guys a couple, like, really, really disgusting attacks from their clan. Uh, their number one had probably one of the best attacks I've ever seen. Both of his attacks were absolutely fantastic. They were clutch, they were robotic, they were fantastic. Fucking tastic! I'm just gonna say that. I'll show you. Uh, but really, really good. I am gonna upgrade the Valks. Gonna upgrade um, the Lava Hounds at least uh, to level two. Not sure if I'm gonna do the minions. Uh, so that's probably two. That's almost three weeks right there. Um, but I don't know how long I can hold out, man. I, um, I never use the Lava Hounds. I only donate them. I rarely use the Valks. Uh, I did donate them in clan castles. I never use loons. I never use healers. So I'm not quite sure I'm gonna be using them at Town Hall 10. Uh, not sure what I should do as far as upgrades there. So let me know in the comment section below if you think i should upgrade them let me know otherwise let's get into a few uh highlights after um basically i just show you the the base man i mean it's doing good i've got 41 walls left oh my gosh 41 walls we got 209 done that's just ridiculous so the base looks quite a bit different than last time the layout's the same but a lot of upgrades are going on and uh walls are getting close to being done got uh 41 so that's 20 mil more to raid uh to get those done and uh that should be an easy weekend haha <laughs> so let's get into a few of the war highlights we're coming up against these guys right now and they're actually pretty damn legit they won nothing uh no no wars won but they're all look at 100 100 100 100 they're all hundreds through freaking one through six damn son all right so that could be uh, a problem so Let's get into the war highlights right now. They were the lonely looters. These guys sucked. No, they, were, they weren't too bad. They had a couple guys in there that could really attack, but a lot of their attacks were pretty bad. So we won 24 to 19. Uh, to get 19 in, in a, a clan wars is actually pretty decent, but to get 24 is even better uh, with 10 guys. So we did very well. Um, let me show you this guy's attack, though, on... Uh, where was it? Oh, he got two stars. All right, so let's check out Melanoa. His attack on Poon was flipping fantastic. All right, so let's check out this replay. I'm gonna show you right here. Pause this bad boy. All right, so absolutely nicely upgraded base. Level four expos, pretty decent heroes at 20 and 15. Level three infernos and a lot of really good air defenses, okay? Level seven air defenses, and this guy just destructed this base, okay? So four Lava Hounds, which I've not seen before. I've seen one. I think I may have seen two in a drop, but never four. So the guy drops four Lava Hounds, immediately drops the freaking loons, rages, light, uh, it's just nuts. I'll show you. Here we go. I might even have the moment of silence for this one, but watch this guy's attack. It is a thing of beauty. Drops a couple minions on spots in order to take them out first. A little slow uh, to get to the raid. Let's speed it up uh, just a little bit, and I'm going to pause it right when he starts dropping stuff. Uh, I think he gets it around the minute mark. It's really a really quick raid because of the way the guy uh, lays things out. But let's do... Come on, pause. Uh, here we go. All right, all right, all right. All right, we got four Lava Hounds right here. One, two, three, four. Coming in toward the top. They're going to get distracted. Uh, the air defenses are going to get distracted by them. Then he's going to drop the loon. So we're going to go one speed and watch this freaking replay. Unbelievable. Infernos lock on to the uh, Lava Hounds. 
And then once they blow up, I mean, those are level 3 Lava Hounds, so they take a lot of hits. Guy drops Rages. They get into the center of the base. They're knocking out all those defenses. Perfectly placed uh, freeze spells. And then the Loons, man. That was only 14 Loons. He was able to 50% the guy before he even freaking started the damn raid. So 50% brings his heroes in from behind and uh, takes out the... No, he brings the minions in from behind. He didn't even drop his heroes. He was like, ha, 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 ha. Going to save the heroes because we're not going to three-star this base. But we're going to show this guy we mean business by taking out his Town Hall 10. Pretty decently upgraded. The walls weren't up. Upgraded, but it doesn't matter when you're dropping loons and when you're dropping lava hounds and minions, man. I mean, that was just a sick raid. My jaw dropped on that one. That was a fantastic raid. So I'll give props to him. His clan's a little douchey, but uh, he had a really, really good attack right there. So Melanoa, nice play on names right there. Uh, well played, man. I'll give you props for that. And then... Um, he basically did the same thing to Bot and got two stars. Bot doesn't usually get two stars, so that was a shocker for us. Uh, so, well done. But on the flip side, we got Bot, all right? We're going to show his raid because he 50%ed their one, and we're going to pause that because this guy's base is really upgraded. We got two level three Infernal Towers, three level four uh, Expos. Everything's basically upgraded. He's got a lot of Lego walls, and this mup could go wipe this shit. He was like, yo, we're going to drop the bomb on you. We're going to bot this and show you that, yo, I mean business too, all right? Just because you could two-star me doesn't mean that you're not two-starable, okay? Because I'm going to crush your vagina right here. And that's what we did, man. He came in right from the bottom. Actually, no, he didn't come on from the bottom. All right, bot, I'm calling you out. Stop luring out the clan castle. You don't need to do that. You're wasting your wizards. You're wasting hogs. 25 spots for those hogs. All right, rant over. All right, so let's get into this raid. He does pull out the clan castle troops, and he's able to actually do good work on these ones. He pulled them all the way to the left. We'll speed this up. And uh, he used two Wiz, I think, to knock him out uh, pretty good. Actually, he wasted four Wiz on him. Right there, they got roasted, and then he dropped another two. And uh, was able to take them out, actually, in one swipe right here. Watch. Pop. <laughs> awesome. All right, so go wiping from the bottom. Or, no, from the uh, south east side he dropped three uh golems a couple one giant and then a couple whiz to take in the uh defenses and then basically just romped it he was able to take out those side uh spots really quickly dropped a couple bombs dropped a couple pekkas big boy pekkas level fives a couple more bombs to get him into the center and then the infernos lock on rage spell actually helped a lot and um was able to get most of those uh, middle, uh, the first wall defenses taken out. And then nice free spell, nice jump spell, get the golem into the middle. Uh, the queen actually does a lot of work here. The P.E.K.K.A. as well. P.E.K.K.A.s are pretty good, man. P.E.K.K.A.s, I gotta say, level fives, they take a lot of hit points, they take a lot of shots from Infernal Towers, and they're able to just fucking boss, man. They do a really, really good job this time around. And uh, the Archer Queen kind of gets distracted a little bit. She's shooting on the side stuff, and uh, doesn't work her way into the center until finally now she does. She gets locked onto that Town Hall. Nice rage spell she's getting uh raged up from there 43 percent 44 percent he was probably sweating at this point, uh, hoping he was going to get the uh, 50, but the wizards on the bottom are actually doing quite a bit of work, and uh, they're able to take out that gold storage, and I think there was a builder hut or something that was in the middle. I missed that one right there, uh, but he's got a golemite on the bottom. Golem is taking shots from that infernal tower. Then the wizard goes down, but the one wizard on the bottom, able to take out that army camp, and then he kills the raid, says, you know what, brother? That's what we do to people who two-star our bases. We two-star you back. So that's a sick raid, dude. Nicely done, and uh, excellent an excellent job on the raid. So we're going to move our way down into our bottom two guys. Uh, we did two star basically everything else uh, except for s seven through ten. We got three stars. Uh, we did the uh, Cernak drag rated. I believe Iop drag rated as well as she always does. And then we got Brian Beard and Scotty. All right. I'm going to show you guys both of these raids. I ranted well about these guys in the um, when to upgrade your town hall video. If you didn't see that, check that out. That actually has a quite a few good pointers in it on when to upgrade your town hall uh, but dude really really good attacks right here uh these guys are boss and i can't wait actually to see them go to uh, town hall eight uh sorry town hall nine to uh watch them do their go wipes with extra troops man it just makes that much of a difference when you get into uh town hall nine so nice golem drop right there wall breakers coming in behind wizards coming in from behind as well golems get into the center they take off that uh, giant bomb which was essential right there you do not want your wizards getting hit up by those j bombs and uh the pekkas are doing some work man he's got a level five in the clan castle uh from bot and basically just did some work, man. The wizard stayed alive. And you know what? I gotta pause this right here. Watch all these clan castle troops. He's got a skeleton and level six wizards. And dude, me and P were watching this. We're like, oh my gosh, his wizards just got destroyed. 
And then, dude, they came out of nowhere. There was like 15 of them. So watch this, man. It looks funny. Right here, I was like, all right, they're screwed. Heal spells good, but there's the mortar. There's the wizard tower. They're done. And then look, they're all alive. I'm like, holy crap. Oh, they're dead again. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Oh, I can't believe that. And then I'm like, where'd they come from? They're still alive. These guys are rocking and rolling. The heal spell worked wonders, man. I mean, there's like 15 of them still alive. It was ridiculous. And he's got four in the chamber. But right here, I thought literally they were dead. I'm like, there's no chance in hell. And then th this spot where they came out, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like all alive. And that's exactly what you want in a go wipe, especially at Town Hall 8. Uh, it, it works wonders at Town Hall 9 too, keeping these guys alive and making sure that they stay in clumps because they just destroy stuff so nicely. Pekka's doing some work. Wizard's taking out that Town Hall. We're at 44% right now. Got the one star. Definitely going to get the 50. Popping out those uh, Elixir Collectors and Elixir Star. Storages. And basically, they're still clumped up right there. The G-Bomb took out... Um, no, it didn't take them out. Knocked the Golemites out a little bit, but still doing good. Nice heal spell right there. Take out that Wizard Tower. Giving some life to the P.E.K.K.A. Who, and, and really doing some work around there. G-Bomb! Oh, dusted. That was the one I was waiting for. Um, that's a big one. Even if they're in the heal spell, uh, the, the Giant Bomb takes more HP than the Wizard has. So, uh, the Wizard's uh, Towers do not... And I guess neither do the mortars. The mortars don't kill them in one shot, so that's why they're able to stay alive when they're in that heal spell. Uh, unfortunately, the giant bombs are not that. They just take them out in one swipe. So that was a big blow right there. But he's got four wizards left. He dropped them in around the edge. He's got one more in the chamber, and this is actually a good one because he was holding on to it, and we were watching this raid. I'm like, damn, it seems like it's going on forever, but the Golemites stayed alive. The P.E.K.K.A. did some work. The Wizards are still doing some work, too, and uh, right here, I'm like, is he going to drop that other Wizard right when the Archer Tower goes down? He's going to, and then he did, and I'm like, Bry, are you in my room, dude? Are you watching me? What the hell's going on? So, excellent stuff right there. Really, really sick raid, 100%. That was good, man. I mean, this guy is doing some work at Town Hall 8. Uh, stay there for now, man. If it's making making this happen, go right ahead and continue to do that because once you get up to Town Hall 9, it just gets a little bit more difficult, but uh, that was sick, man. You got it down to a T, and uh, that was awesome. So let's watch Scotty's video. is getting a little long, but we're going to rock and roll right here. going to pause it. Uh, Town Hall <laughs> level 7. Dude, I'm like, is he going to go wipe? He should gob raid it. Go gob raid. And so let's check it out. We'll pop the pause and go in from there. Lured out the clan castle and... Um, Actually did a little bit of work on this dragon. Was able to take him out, I believe. Look at that. Oh, pumping him in. And then here comes the raid. Unbelievably just crushed. I mean, it, it's a pretty pretty simple base. I mean, you can't really look at it and say, okay, I'm going to have any trouble. I would have loved to hog that one. I mean, there's no spaces. There, there's like no spots for giant bombs. It, it, there's no spaces. Completely uh, level 5 hogs would have de destroyed that base in probably 30 seconds or so. But he go wiped it anyway and said, we're going to crush. And uh, no, not even, he, there's no golems. He just thought uh, he jizzed bombed it or whatever the hell he did with some P.E.K.K.A.s. So Giants and P.E.K.K.A.s and Wizards. Well played. B.K. at level 6. Doing some work over there on that Tesla. This guy's got low level everything. Poor, poor Town Hall level 7. And that's just destruction at its finest. Wizards staying alive. P.E.K.K.A.s just killing it because basically the Teslas cannot do a damn thing against them. And uh, yeah, B.K.'s still alive. P.E.K.K.A.s still alive. And everything just gets devoured by this freaking raid. Oh, poor Town Hall level 7. But hey, you know, that's what happens when you're in a clan who's going to war uh, quite frequently and you're a Town Hall level 7 and you got a lot of Town Hall level 9s and 10s in your uh, clan. It just doesn't work out. And uh, like I said before, this victory was one of the most... One of our favorite victories, I've got to say, because we were going back and forth, literally, and I think I might have started it by just talking a little shit. You know, I went in right away, two-starred their base, and then, uh, you know, talked a little bit of shit. Not, you don't go directly at them. That's not the way to do it. You're a homo. Nah, that's not a cool, man. you got to be intellectual about it. And these guys were just like, you have uncircumcised dicks and play with little children. I'm like, uh, that's, like, not funny and, and not even cool and, and not even, uh, like, a hit, man. You, that's stupid. And basically, they did that the entire time. And then we said we were from Israel or something, and they're like, oh, you hail Hitler. And so this is their, uh, this is their clan. Feel free to go over there and, uh, maybe jump in and just talk some shit. That'd be funny. I, I, I'm down for that. And, uh, yeah, they're just really, really bad players. Uh, they, <laughs> number one left, their best player. Uh, they're number seven left, because, uh, he was like, fuck these guys. And same with, uh, number ten. So they only had, uh, <laughs> seven members left after their little, um, 
homo talks, and that's that's what happens, man. You can't be a douchebag and play this game and expect good things. So that's the video. Long-winded but awesome raids, man. Some of the best raids I've seen in a long time, and uh, just really, really fun stuff. The base is looking sick, man. I cannot wait to get to Town Hall 10, but I am going to wait a little bit longer. We're going to finish the walls, definitely. Going to finish all these defenses. Uh, going to probably do... I get we got to do the Lava Hound, I guess. I mean, it's going to take me like another week, I think, for those bad boys. I don't know. It doesn't tell me how long right now because I'm up. Excuse me. I'm upgrading other stuff. Does it? Nah, it says upgrade in progress. So that sucks, but we'll, we'll work into it. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Next video, we'll work into that. So again, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Drop a like. Helps me out a lot. Helps spread the video out a lot. And I'm loving this stuff, man. Clash for life. Having some fun. Thanks again for watching. Oh, 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 oh,